Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's April 1st, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Priests are being arrested for offering public mass. In Kerala State, India, one priest was taken away by police on March 23rd for celebrating a funeral mass. Elsewhere in the same area, two priests, two seminarians, and three religious sisters were arrested after mass offered at a local seminary. And in Uganda, Father Deo Grazia's Kibi Katarega was jailed Sunday after mass for violating a government ban on religious gatherings. And in related news, pro-lifers were arrested over the weekend for praying outside an abortion mill. Four men from North Carolina were approached by police minutes after arriving to pray outside a Greensboro abortion facility, even though they were obeying local social distancing guidelines. You've got a choice right now to make, all right? Yes, you can choose to comply with what I'm telling you, or you're going to be charged. All right. I would like it noted for the record that he absolutely refuses. To I absolutely. What the says. We are not debating right now. Oh, that okay. debate can be had with our legal the staff. Ordinance we explicitly says to engage in outdoor activity, okay. provided the individuals comply with social distancing requirements. Do you are understand when I tell you? Do you understand when I tell you that you're going to be charged and you will no longer be free to leave at that point? The pro-lifers have since been released, noting in a public statement that abortion mills remain open for business. The Greensboro facility crammed with 20 women and children on the day of the pro-lifers' arrest. The government of England is approving at-home abortions. Amid concerns of infection during the Wuhan virus pandemic, the Department of Health said, quote, We are updating our guidance so women who need an abortion up to 10 weeks and can't access a clinic can use abortion pills at home, close quote. Wales, Northern Ireland, and Scotland are proposing similar measures, all of which are expected to pass. And in other news, Hungary's prime minister is being slammed for a major power grab during the pandemic. Viktor Orban was granted expansive emergency powers on Monday, suspending parliament and canceling all future elections for the time being. The move comes after more than 450 infections from the Wuhan virus were reported nationwide. Despite the power grab, people in the largely Christian country seem supportive. A recent poll showing 90% of Hungarians support the measure. And here in the U.S., a well-known businessman is inspiring Americans. MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell said in a surprise speech Monday night to offer people's quarantine time to God. God gave us grace on November 8, 2016 to change the course we were on. God had been taken out of our schools and lives. A nation had turned his back on God. And I encourage you to use this time at home to get to home to get back in the word, read our Bibles and spend time with our families. Lindell has also been a vocal pro-lifer and is devoting 75% of his manufacturing plants to making cotton face masks for hospitals during the pandemic. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your Church Milton headlines. Please watch The Vortex today. Michael talks about digging deep. God bless you.